Hey, thanks for joining me for another video. Today we have a USB Lexar flash drive that um, when you plug it in it kind of shows up but disappears, shows up but disappears. So chances are it is most likely the uh, connector here or it could be something else but uh, let's take it out of this enclosure here this holder whatever the hell this is and we're gonna once we get it out uh, we can see what's wrong with it now this is not gonna be an easy one to remove because it's got this weird plasticky thing here that goes inside the uh, connector so we're gonna have to open this up and I'm uh, guessing I'm gonna have to run new wires um, to the USB connector there's no way I'm gonna be able to fix this um, and I'm probably gonna downgrade it to uh, USB 2 because uh, well, it's only 32 gig. If it was something larger, I would go ahead with USB 3, but the cable I have is only a USB 2, and then it's only four wires this way. It's easier. So, anyways, let's see if we can break this guy open. So, I think um, the easiest method would be to go through here. I mean, we can get it out. It would be nice if I can just pull it out of this thing. So we're going to bend these two guys right here. And then it should come out. And this tool I'm using is very sharp. Last thing I want to stop myself with it. Almost. Come on, get out of here. There's still something holding it. Ah, guess this dude right here. So that should be it. Okay. Now we gotta pull this guy out of here. Oh, this is okay. All right. Get it out of this plastic thing. So now let's examine why is this not connecting? These joints are okay. Is the board bent? Let me test it quickly. So I, I fixed it doing it this way. Just a little clamp on here. But that's not the end of the video. We're gonna film a little bit more because obviously it's gonna be boring. So we're gonna see if we can fix this USB drive. I mean, not for the client, just, just for the video sake. Okay, well, as you saw, we recovered the data already, but that's gonna be very boring. So maybe we should fix this thing and see um, what the issue is here. So let's put it into a holder so it doesn't move around on me. here I honestly think it's the controller that's um, lifting probably from flexing because it's a single it's a single board and um, you know these drives are made cheaply and yeah just some companies put their whole payroll or whatever they 
thing is right to put on these drives and I'm strongly against using a single drive um, as your point of uh, payroll. If you're gonna keep it there, you know, you deserve a failure, I guess. Because, uh, you know, you should really, really, really uh, have a backup. So if you just look at it, you really can't tell um, if there's any problems here. So let's, um, let's put some flux on here. And I'm gonna try resoldering all the uh, joints using a soldering iron. And if that doesn't help it, then we're gonna maybe use um, hot air to reflow the entire chip. But let's limit the amount of heat we're gonna put into this chip because the last thing we want is we're gonna kill the chip. I mean, the job's already done, it's been recovered. So, not like it's a big deal if I don't, but. Let's see. Okay, so that's done. So I think the best way to test it is to actually uh, make a proper header on here. I mean, initially I was using uh, two EMMC chips and I just put them underneath here and I was able to put it in the, in the USB socket but uh, let's do it differently let's actually um, let's actually give it a header again okay that's what we're gonna do let's Flatten this thing first. I need some tweezers. I need some flatten tweezers. So this is just like a temporary, temporary solution, and it's loose. It's not gonna be. I don't want to permanently put it in here because then I, if I need to do more work, I want to melt this plastic piece. So let's go plug it in and see. Yep, it's working. So all it really took is fixing, um, soldering in the, uh, the legs on the controller and now it's working. I only did this for the video. I'm not actually doing this for the customer. We already got his data, but it's nice knowing that it's fixed. Let's go over the computer so I just, at least I can show you that it is working. Okay, so here's the USB drive uh, with my amazing fix. Let's plug it in and see. There it is, it's showing up. So that is it for this video. Stay tuned, there's another video coming. Hopefully next week I have uh, another Alexa surprise surprise uh, with a um, 256 gig two chips that one is probably gonna have to be chip off for sure so you're gonna remove the chips and then we're gonna use vnr most likely to recover it thanks for watching and uh subscribe follow all the bs see you in the next video